request. Okay, so today I, I have black tissue on hand, so that's what I'm going to use today. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. You will get your foam base already glued to the clear base like so. Okay, it's already ready to go for you on the base. These do ship assembled, which are these cutouts here. They're assembled for you already on a stick and ready to insert in the middle of this base. When I'm done, I'll show you the out the final look. So I'm going to go ahead and start a few of these for you. And at the end of the video, I will be a little bit, uh, I'll speed it up for you just to, just to get through the video and show you what the out the final look will be. Okay, so we don't have to sit through the whole video of me assembling. Alright, so we're going to start with one piece of tissue first. And go ahead and grab it and gather it at the bottom like so. Pull up all the ends. Insert your pin like that. And start at the bottom of your foam. Okay, like so. I'm going to insert the pick, the floral pin into the foam there. Okay, go ahead and start on your next one and fill in the whole bottom row. And you don't want to stick these too close because the tissue is going to puff out itself. You know, it's going to be puffy at the end. So there's no need to bunch them together because you're only getting so much supplies for one centerpiece. And they are enough for one centerpiece. So I'm going to show you how... What I'm talking about and how much space you need to leave. Literally, this is how much space you need to leave between them. Almost an inch or half an inch, a quarter, three quarter inch, something like that. And see how the paper's already like bunched up together once it's puffed out. And you're not going to see that gap they're leaving because it's going to be full once you're done with all the adding all the tissue. Okay, so I'm going to continue on. And this will probably be about where I speed up the video for you so until they're all in place. And you already know uh, where how much space to leave between them so that you don't run out of pins or tissue paper. Because to buy to if you say you run out of tissue paper or you run out of pins, there is an extra charge to have some shipped to you. Um, each kit has a sufficient amount of pins and tissue. And if you running if you run out, that means you stuck the pins too close together. you can see I already, I already have two rows going so basically it covered the whole bottom row and then the whole top here or middle not quite too close to the top and now I'm going to start on the top layer which is the outer edge of this foam here and that's going to start to build up here on top and make it look really really full uh, one thing is I do not ship these assembled and this is the reason why it takes time per centerpiece to be completed. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes to complete one whole centerpiece with the tissue. Um, if I were to ship these assembled, I'd be out of business. I wouldn't ever have time to, to complete them all. Um, plus they get smashed and damaged during shipping. So this is why I supply the tutorial video for your convenience. Because these centerpieces are really, really, really pretty. I like them a lot. Okay, so now we're starting right on the edge of that foam. Like this here. I literally pinned right here on the edge. And we're going to do that all the way around. And then you'll probably do a few, two or three in the middle here at the very end. Because it's going to start to form the shape. Okay. So go ahead and start pinning. 
and it's the same the same thing you're gonna leave that space uh, much space around the edge like you did on the bottom row and the middle row so it's gonna start to puff out once it's all together Sometimes you'll have extra tissue, and sometimes you don't. It just depends, like I said, how you're spacing it. Sometimes you'll have enough. It's just all a matter of how you're spacing these to pins apart. And I suggest to, to pin them apart the way I'm, I showed you. Because if you clump them all together, it's just going to look too, bun too bunched up. And you're not going to get that fluff effect. It's going to be too... Um, mushy and bunched together and with this technique i'm showing you it's going to look more uniform more of a same um, shape all around see you can start just to hide those um you can hide that foam you're not going to see the foam at all once you're all done you shouldn't And if you have gaps, I'll show you at the end what you can do. You shouldn't have gaps either. If you're following these steps, there should be no issue with the foam showing through, gaps or two bunched together. And you can see here how much space I'm leaving between each pen. Literally a, a, a fingertip length gap between each one. And see how the tissue just goes back and fluffs up by itself back into position and if you get an order with multiple colors uh, just rotate the colors start with the black and then a blue and then a red and an orange or if you have two colors start with black white black white that's the pattern you need to take on when you're a assembling these okay so there's those hold on one second and I'm going to show you how to I'm going to show you how to fluff out your tissue once you're all done Okay, so we're getting to the end now. So you can see there's I've added three on this side, and I'm going to add three more on this side. That's all you need on the top. The whole top layer should only have six, and then the, you should have three rows. One at the bottom, one in the middle, and one on the edge like this here. The edge should be your last row, and it should be the third row. Okay. So I have three on this side. I'm going to fill in the other side with the other three. Okay. And then I'll show you how it looks. Well, you can see it's coming together. Okay. One. Since I had black on hand, that's what I'm using today. You can customize any colors to match your theme or to match the clip art. Now, you might have extra tissue. You might have extra pins. You can just, once you assemble all your centerpieces like this, then you could go back and fill in with all the extra, if you have extra tissue left. But I don't think it would need any more. Look at that. It's nice and full all the way around. And you could puff it out with your hand like this. Just to get the tissue, just hide any gaps if there's any. You might not need to fill them if you have extra tissue, but that's up to you. Okay, just like that. And there it is. There's the final tissue centerpiece. Okay, so I'm gonna insert this uh, pick. And I'm going to show you just a minute and pull up the camera so that you can see the whole pick inserted. And you're just going to find the middle and stick it in there. The, sh the stick should be the, the perfect length to stick all the way down. 
If it's too long, you cut it down with scissors or um, wire cutters. Wire cutters is good to cut it down too. And there it is. There's the final centerpiece. Let me move this back. There's a final centerpiece already assembled for you. And this is what you get in your kit. And of course your pick is already assembled for you on the stick like so. And I'll have some pictures at the end with centerpieces that I have done or have sold like this with the tissue bottoms. And of course you'll you're going to see different themes. This is not the only theme I do.